Hello, my friends. Welcome once again to Faith Walk 101. We are so glad that you could join us. You know, Satan's number one strategy is to deceive you. If you're being accused of something and you know you didn't do it, then you know how to defend yourself. But if you are being deceived and you know you're being deceived, then being deceived would no longer work. The problem is most people don't know that they're being deceived. That's why Satan's strategy works. You know, the pride in us wants to believe a lie. Uh, we want to believe that we can do it all on ourselves, that we don't need anyone, that we're self-sufficient. But the truth is, we all need God. We are nothing without him. There are three main ways uh, that Satan uses to deceive us. And the number one way is self-deception. James 1, 22, uh, James chapter 1 and verse 22, it says, do not merely listen to the word, as so deceive yourselves. Those who listen to the word but don't act on it, what is happening, you are deceiving yourself. Those who receive God's word are also vulnerable to self-deception if we fail to put it into practice. Uh, put into practice what we have learned. But we can model we can't model perfection. You know, none of us are perfect. And that's the thing that we always want to remember. We're always going to fall short because of these bodies that we live in. But what we can do, we can model growth. We are growing in the grace of God. People around us need, need to know that we're genuine. No one may not be able to fly. And of course, we cannot fly on our own without any help, without being in an airplane. But those that wait on the Lord, the Bible tells us, will renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings of eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. My friends, the enemy's number one uh, strategy is self-deception. And so many people uh, believe in things that are not so. No, you cannot fly. You cannot fly. But if you believe the lie and you uh, deceive yourself, uh, then you will find yourself uh, uh, living a life that is not according to the way of God. The Bible is true. And it's truth that sets us free. And lies keep, a, keep us in bondage. And the enemy wants us to believe lies. And if we deceive ourselves by not applying and living out the word, then we will be in bondage to lies. Thank you, my friends. Continue to join us on Faith Walk 101 as we talk more about the strategies that the enemy is using to deceive us. And the number one is self-deception. And it is so prevalent in the world that we live in today. Thank you.